So scattered clouds are going to be possible for this afternoon. However, we're warming up very fast after our frosty start. Temperatures will be going into the low 60s. Later on this evening, we'll just be watching for a few to isolated showers around. Temperatures will be hovering somewhere into the mid and upper 50s. So not a bad evening. It's not going to be a washout. However, you may or may not be needing the umbrellas. But tree pollen is going to be near extreme for today. So any allergy sufferers, this is the news for you. Please don't forget to take your medicine, otherwise you're really going to be miserable for today. Top allergens right now are oak, mulberry, and juniper. Lows tonight falling down to the mid-50s, so not nearly as cold as this morning. Mostly cloudy skies, a couple of isolated showers will still be around. Breezy conditions, and then tomorrow, Mercer, you guys are going to be in the mid-70s, sunny and 75. That's actually a great forecast right there. It will be breezy, so at least with the warm conditions, that breeze will actually be pretty nice from time to time. It's going to be out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Future Tracker is showing that we're going to have a couple of isolated showers later on for the late afternoon, early evening hours, and the winds will really start to pick up around them. May have some moderate downpours, but for the most part, it is not going to be a big weather maker kind of day. We're just going to be watching for a few raindrops. That's pretty much it. Then I'll continue on into the overnight hours along with the breezy conditions, and tomorrow the wind is really going to pick up even more, and you're going to be noticing it. But clouds should be decreasing from the morning going on into the afternoon for Sunday, and then they come right back in Sunday night into Monday, and we're expecting widespread rain to last through most of the day. That continues on into Tuesday, and eventually on Wednesday, a lot of the rain does taper off. And then Thursday, we finally have a dry day. However, if you want some warm conditions, it looks like we're really only going to have it tomorrow. So high near 80. Enjoy it while we have it, because then we have that washout Monday and Tuesday. Highs around 70, so at least it's going to be more of a warm kind of rain. But then we do cool back down starting in the middle of the week with highs in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. So below average. So lows will be falling down, possibly back down into the 30s towards the end of the week. Keep in mind, if you already started gardening or putting out any kind of plants, you may have to bring them in towards the end of the week. Doesn't look like we're going to be seeing winter like conditions compared to this morning. However, it's certainly going to be on the cooler side. So not a bad weekend. Highs in the 60s today, near 80 tomorrow. We have the 70s Monday and Tuesday with the rain. Eventually it's done on Wednesday. And then we have highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s towards the end of the week. And morning lows possibly around 40 degrees.